Hello and welcome to a new player review. As we continue these reviews on the icon swap uh, selections to see and find uh, which are more suitable uh, for every player or every play style or the price ranges in icon swaps, uh, which ones are the best combinations to get. Today we're going to have a look at this uh, Fernando Hierro at uh, six icon swaps. Um, almost the cheapest ones uh, after the five swaps for Bobby Moore and uh, Frank Reichardt. We go to six swaps with Fernando Hierro. Um, a center back, uh, the hero of uh, Real Madrid and uh, the national team. Uh, fantastic center back at his time. Um, it looks like an okay center back um, on his face stats. Obviously this is the baby version, um, so it's not the best version of the three but uh, let's have a look at this uh, card uh, he's 187 so he's like six one six two uh, medium high which is a uh, great work rates for your center back and uh, right footed and uh, with three star weak foot and two star skills so his details uh, tell us that he has 75 overall pace with 75 and 75 acceleration spin speed which is good uh, to have it at the same uh, level there um, he has some good shooting. Obviously, this guy has scored many goals, uh, I believe, in his career, more than 100 as a center back. So, he is a guy that knows how to score a goal. So, he has good shot power, good long shots, and good volleys. Um, his passing is uh, a bit low, actually, especially his short pass, which is the first stat that you wanted to be uh, the highest of them all. His dribbling is uh, okay. He has uh, good agility at 70. Uh, good balance at 80, reactions 84, ball control 75, dribbling 65, and composer 78. So aside from dribbling, which is not something that you really need in your center back, uh, his agility is not that bad for a, a, a big center back. Uh, at 70, I would say it's all right, but the rest of them are very good. So I think his dribbling stats are good there. Uh, his defending is at 87 with 87 interceptions, 89 hitting accuracy, 87 defensive awareness, 88 stand tackle, and 79 slide tackle. So these look uh, very good, and with the improvement of the camp style that you will add to him, uh, we'll go into the 90s, so it will look like a very good defender there. Uh, his physical is 82 overall, with 92 jumping, uh, 78 stamina, 85 strength, and 78 aggression. A bit low on aggression, uh, his stamina is great, um, so, I don't know, I think there are good stats there in the physical, I don't think there's anything that you really need to worry. Uh, I bought this card with a shadow on, I bought him at 326, I believe uh, that's his going price at the moment, somewhere around 330 for the PlayStation 4. Um, so I bought him with the shadow on, we get plus 15 in acceleration to 90 and plus 10 in sprint speed to 85, so this one looks like a very good card uh, as, as in terms of speed right now. It will go somewhere into 87, 88 overall pace, which is good. And the rest go into defending with uh, plus 10 in interceptions. We go to 97 uh, in 94 heading accuracy, 97 defensive awareness, 93 standing tackle, and 94 slide tackle. So all his stats and defended go into the 90s. It looks uh, very, very good right now with his shadow cam style. Obviously, you can put an anchor. Uh, and add some stats as well into the physicals but like I said I don't really see the point of adding something into strength and aggression I think they're good enough you lose some pace there so uh, like always uh, we're gonna go into fit champions games as we have weekend league at active um, uh, this is a center back so we can try him really in different positions um, he doesn't have any passing to even be considered I think for a CDM so just center back it will be for him but we'll go into two games uh, probably play the same formation and test this uh, Fernando Hierro uh, and see how his center back uh, stats apply in the game all right so here we go with our first team uh, kind of weird team with uh, French uh, Ligue 1 uh, players uh, it looks like a Not a good team as we get a disconnect before we even get into the game. Uh, this is going to be a first for me. So that was a fun first game. Uh, we didn't actually even get to go into the game. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> one game played on this hero, not actually playing a game. 
uh, which is fantastic. So let's try and get into a second game, which will actually be our first game. Oh, right, here we go with our second, but first game with a weird, what is this, the UCL team of Real? I don't know, it's a weird team uh, with Van Nistelrooy up top. Uh, so we're going to go into this game as the 4-2-3-1 and uh, play the baby Fernando Hierro as a center back. Even with all that pace. Go. It's actually a bad tackle. Why did he have to slide down there? supposed to do a standing tackle. Very slow to turn, but good tackle. Bad pass. What is he doing? Oh my god, what is this? Why is he out of position there though? Just, I don't know what the hell he did there. He went through him and left the ball back. Oh, another one. Get it. What? How was he leaving the ball back? All right, so the game is done. Uh, I don't know what's happening. He's getting man of the match, but uh, I tell you, I, I didn't like this guy at all. Um, let's check him out. He has 10 on 11 passes, 3 on 3 dribbles, and 6 on 10 interceptions. 60% completion is not very great, but um, he's, he's, you're gonna see on the um, replays I'm gonna add uh, most of the stuff I, I felt very vulnerable with here at the back. He was missing a lot of stuff, he was doing some weird uh, tackles, he was very late uh, in some tackles. Uh, he was uh, missing tackles that were very easy, like he was facing the opponent. It, he should have had the ball and the opponent was walking through him with the ball. Um, he wasn't turning that great. He wasn't that fast that I was expecting. I was expecting him to be more, to be faster. Um, I don't know. I don't. I didn't like him in this game. Um, I don't know why he's getting that 9.0, but like I said, stats and numbers always paint a different picture, or not always, but sometimes paint a different picture of what you uh, feel in playing game. So let's get into another game and uh, try this hero uh, another time and give him one more chance. All right, so here we go with our third but actual second game. Uh, French team with Semedo thrown in there just for a uh, hell of it. Um, so this is going to be another game of the 4-2-3-1 formation. I was retesting uh, Fernando Hierro in the center back position. What the hell? What was that by Aero? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? What? What is he doing? Is he awake? Is he sleeping? Oh my god. Yes, come on. Yes, excellent. Shoot it. Oh my god, get it in. Oh, all right. Uh, barely won that game. Uh, and uh, I think this opponent was probably easier than this game made it out to be. Uh, but uh, I wasn't feeling that uh, secure at the back again with this hero. I don't know. Check out his stats, uh, 7 on 7 passes, 2 on 2 dribbles, and just one tackle. Uh, I, I don't know, actually I do know, but uh, let's go back and uh, have a look at this card. 
All right, so Fernando Hierro, uh, I don't know. I, actually, I do know. I actually don't like this card at all. Um, I went into trying this card with a completely different opinion. I thought this was going to be a viable, good center back. Uh, looking at his face stats, his in games uh, look all right. Uh, good pace that you we got it up to 90 acceleration and 85 sprint speed, which is fantastic for your center back. Very good dribbling, a bit low on agility and dribbling, but uh, nothing too terrible. The rest of his dribbling stats are great. Um, his defending goes to the 90s with his uh, shadow chem style, very good physical. So I had high expectations about this card, uh, but I didn't like him at all in game. Uh, even in the first game where he got like a nine point rating and he got man of the match, I really thought that it was a, a very bad a defender in the game. I thought I might lose that game, although it looked like an easy game. I thought I might lose it because of him, because he was making some very crucial mistakes. Uh, I couldn't see his speed, it wasn't there. Um, that agility is actually low, so it's really tough to a bit turn him. I felt better actually with uh, Campbell than I did with this hero. And Hierro and Campbell has like no agility, no dribbling stats whatsoever. But uh, for some reason, this hero felt uh, a lot more clunkier than that Campbell. Uh, his interceptions defending uh, in general uh, was a, a big liability. I don't know, uh, even the easy tackles he would miss. Uh, I think most of the interceptions that he got credited for it was because he was in the way of the ball. He did do some interceptions, but I think too exceptional. Uh, the standard ones that you would expect him to do, he was missing. Uh, I think he's... Um, Defensive awareness wasn't that great. His covering of the area in the back wasn't that great. So all in all, I really don't like this card. Uh, it was a card that I probably would say that in the six tokens is a great suggestion, but I don't think so anymore. I don't think this is a good card to get. Um, there are way better center backs you can get for, I would think like two, three, four K that I think will do a much better work than this Fernando Vieira. So this is gonna be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.